Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So we will continue our learning on OFM software. And in today's topic, we are going to create again a grid map and we will construct a cumulative oil production map. And then let's see how we can, you know, make a limit for our map. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So as you can see here, we have our three key demo database. It's the example provided by the OFM software. Okay, so to make the grid map, it's very easy. You can go to home and then let's see here, we have grid map. We can have rainbow skill, 16 part horizontal legend, and then 128 part horizontal legend, and then here single color. 25 part vertical legend, 128 part horizontal legend. Okay, so let's start with rainbow skill. And then we will construct a, you know, cumulative oil production map. So in the variables, we are going to select oil cum, cumulative oil production. And then you press this one. So we have date and cumulative oil, click on next. It's not very important. It's important, but you can just, as usual, click on next and next and finish. Okay, so this is our grid map for the cumulative oil production. It's rainbow scale map. So the legend will be like this. The scale, I mean, will be like this. I don't prefer this type of skill, actually. And of course we can change that. So I'm going to move the date and then the name for the grid map. So basically this is, you know, this is our grid map for the cumulative oil production. And for the scale, if you want to change the scale, first you touch the scale and then let's see whether we can change it or not. Yeah, so color scale, you can change it to no or yes. Of course, we want to show, so click on yes. Style, value range, I don't prefer that. So we can change it to horizontal like this. It's much better or vertical, but vertical like this. So I think the horizontal is better. Okay, so as you can see here, red color means, you know, very low cumulative oil production, whereas the yellow and then green, it shows that it is of greater cumulative oil production. And the highest one will be shown by purple color. Okay, you can reverse it against still in color scale. Here we have reverse color, no but you can change it, yes. Okay, so the lowest cumulative oil production will be shown by purple color. Okay, very easy. And let's say I don't like the rainbow type map, so I'm going to select single color map. You can go to spectrum, rainbow, and let's say I'm going to select green. So I only have one color, okay? But it is in reverse color, right? Reverse color, yes. So everything will be colored green like this, but let's see if we can reverse it. It is much better now, right? So low cumulative oil production will be shown by, you know, very light, green almost like a white color and highest or high cumulative oil production will be colored you know like this green a, a clear green color so you can see this well o1 o-1 has you know the cumulative the highest cumulative oil production which means that surrounding this well you know you have the highest oil reserve there. 
Maybe it's because the porosity at that region, at that area, and then this water saturation quite low there, porosity quite high, and the thickness is also quite thick around this well. So that's why you have highest oil reserve and thus highest cumulative oil production. Okay, and let's say if you want to conduct infill drilling, development drilling, maybe you can drill your well close to this well, like maybe here, there, around this well, as long as you know the, the drainage area, the bubble of this, the production bubble, like in bubble map of this well, doesn't, you know, doesn't reach that area at which you want to perform the infill drilling, right? So cumulative oil production map will be an indicator that helps you to identify which area that you can use for infill drilling, okay? And lastly, let's say we want to make a limit for our map so that it can make the visualization better. We can do that by go to format and then select this one. 